Alrighty, good evening. It's Tuesday night, and by the time that this gets posted, it's going to be Halloween night. So, happy Halloween to all my goblins out there. So, anyways, since it is going to be Halloween soon, Plus, tonight, I did have a Halloween party, which I'll show you some video of what I dressed up as. I don't know if it's going to be video or photos, but here they are. Mmm. Are you hungry? I am. I'm in the mood for some brains. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> I just want to talk about how difficult it is being a obese person and trying to dress up. You know, trying to live your life. And it's so hard because they don't accommodate people on the bigger size. You know, yes, they have, you know, websites that you can get these, you know, um, 2x and 3x um, you know costumes but when you get them they're really the size of like a 1x you know they're really small you know so they're really tight on you yeah they fit you but they're really tight so I've done that before and it's just a pain in the ass you're not comfortable it's just it ruins your whole night so this year since I haven't lost the weight yet uh, did some more research and I was like, wait a second, there's all these doctors and nurses, they're, they're, a lot of them are bigger people, especially the nurses, and they, they have scrubs, and I did some research on scrubs, and I'm like, holy shit, they have scrubs up to like 10x, and, it's, and it was just amazing how big some of the some of these uh, scrubs went and they had the lab coat and everything and I was like wow that's what exactly what I'm gonna do so of course I didn't do just a doctor I, I wanted to be a little scary so I, I don't know I just found some stuff around the house I got some brains from Amazon and I just kind of put it all together with a you know a electric uh, saw I kind of just like put it all together and just the last minute it all came together great um, so anyways, of course I need 10x, I only need a 4x, and even when I got that, the scrubs are huge on me. Yeah, maybe I lost 8 pounds in the last two weeks, but still, a 4x being huge is pretty, pretty cool. I was very comfy all night. Of course I was baggy, but you know, I only need, needed it for a couple hours. So, um, anyways... Some of you bigger guys and girls out there looking for something, you know, it's definitely something to look into. You know, yeah, there's all these websites, but I'm telling you, you buy them in the 2x and 3x, might be, you might be a normal size clothes, but you buy them and they're just super small and then you can't return them. And it's just a huge pain in the ass, and it's not cheap either. You know, it's, not, it, it's a total ripoff. You know, I think this whole costume for my scrubs might have cost me maybe. Um, 20 or 30 bucks or compared to a costume from a website and it's like 80 or 90 dollars or even more than that sometimes and it's just not worth it so I kind of made my own you know costume doctor's costume myself so for you bigger guys and girls out there some stuff to think about you know uh, but you definitely want to find a way to live your life you know I know being obese is definitely a hinder on life but don't let that hold you back and you know as you tend to lose weight you do more things and you get to live your life you know I think you know don't you don't want to let it pass you by you know there's so much out there and so many possibilities and you just got to get out there and get it you know don't you know one of the things my thing I used to love going on roller coasters I was like I went to every single every single um, you know amusement park out there and I was just riding them left and right left and right as I was 
um, you know, younger kid. And as I got older, I got too big for him. You know, even when even when I wasn't that big, um, you know, I was still able to. It was still it was still hard because you know, as they strap you in, it was on the very last strap or la very last buckle, and you just were embarrassed about it. And then eventually, it got too big. They they wouldn't even let you on. So um, I stopped doing roller coasters. But uh, you know, I hope I pretty soon I'm able to get back on them. You know, I'm, I'm excited for that. So and I'll be able to take my family and my daughter and be able to go with my friends and family. And it's just gonna be amazing. So, um, anyways, I am off to the gym and uh, you know, get out there and live some life. Let's go work out, guys. It's complete. Yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen. Had a great workout. Feeling good. Did 60 minutes on the treadmill. That's right, 60 minutes. I ain't run. I did walk and jog, but in those 60 minutes, I did three miles. So I'm. I I still hate it, but I'm starting to get back into it. You know, I really have to strengthen my knees. That's kind of why I did the, the, the treadmill today. Um, and then after the treadmill, I decided to do, I think they call them lunges. Um, and if you take a look at, I'll, I'll try to remember, put the videotape of uh, the very first couple of lunges that I did, I could barely, um, get back up it like really hurt my knees are really bad but by the end I was going um, further down um, with my knees you're supposed to go all the way down to the ground I wasn't able to do that yet but I think the more that I do lunges um, eventually I will get to where I can drop the knee all the way down to the floor and bring you know bring it back up um, this is the first time in a really long time that I've ever done lunges, and it, it, it hurt at first. But by the end of uh, you know, my third or fourth, um, whatever you want to call them, rep, you know, line, I was uh, feeling much better, even though I was, still was not able to go down all the way. 
Um, and then I did some ab stuff, and then I found these ropes. Um, I've seen them in other gyms, I've seen them online. I've never done them before, and so I'm not even 100%, um, I'm not 100% sure that I was even doing them right. You know, I was just going like this. You know, was like that's what they look like when other people are doing them. So I have no clue. I mean, are you supposed to go all the way up and all the way down? Or are you supposed to keep the, you know, your, you know, the, you know, keep them short? You know, I just don't know. And I'm not even quite sure what muscles they work. I mean, I was feeling in the shoulders. I was feeling in the chest a little bit. Even in the wrist, I was feeling it. So I have no clue. I'm going to do some research on that and uh, you know see if that's even worth me doing. Um, I don't even know if you're supposed to do like uh, a certain number of reps of them or if it's more like cardio, cardio and you're supposed to do it for like 15, 20 minutes. I can't believe that anyone would do it more than 20 minutes, but I guess it's possible if you really want to strengthen, the, you know, do those cardio and those muscles. Um, so I did that, and so I was there about a little under two hours, so um, had a great workout. Um, I hope you guys are having a great Halloween. Remember, do not eat that candy. Uh, but what's my saying that I got from uh, Tony Robbins, I already say. Um, uh, nothing tastes as good as fit feels. And you just keep saying it over and over. Nothing tastes as good as fit feels. Nothing tastes as good as fit feels. And you just keep saying it over and over and just toss that candy out. You guys don't need it, you know. Um, you know, there's so, so much other food out there that's so much better for you. And, you know, if you prepare it right, it tastes so good. You know, you just got to research the food and, you know, prepare it and get it out there. You know, you don't need that candy. That candy is just going to F up your system and you're going to gain weight. It, it, it's not worth it, guys. Do not eat that candy. All right. So, anyways, thumbs up for my video. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel and uh, let your friends know about it. See you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Hey, YouTubers. Here's my I'm Too Fat Top 10.